Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Virus here, obviously, and now today we have something that I've never ever talked about, how to get laid, um, by the title of this video. Now, I just want to let you guys know beforehand that I don't condone the behavior of getting laid, but this, you know, it works from anywhere from just becoming friends with the female, uh, species to getting laid from the female species. Um, uh, typically it takes about a month to, uh, complete the mission. Um, now I, I know personally I, I grew up uh, um, when I when I was a virgin and all that stuff I never really had interaction with girls um, I've always had you know anxiety I still do to this day you know and uh, I, if you were someone that has anxiety or you feel like you know you're not good looking or enough to talk to really really sexy attractive girls so to speak um, this this video should help you if you follow what I'm telling you. Um, this isn't clickbait. I don't clickbait in my videos. This is seriously how you're going to do it. Um, I'm talking about this topic because uh, recently I saw some videos of, uh, you know, it, it, you know, I'm not even going to talk about the videos because I it's hard to explain what I was watching. But I'm going to tell you this. Here's how. Here's. I'm just gonna get into it, dude. I'm just gonna get into it. I don't. I don't continue condone the behavior. Of just getting laid. Okay. Um. I have probably 14 and under age kids. You know. Um. Personally, in my like, I firmly believe now for who I am and not who I was, because I was where you were at. Where you know, damn, I want to have sex. You know shit like that. I don't want to have to watch porn. Okay, I know TMI. But listen, like, you gotta understand, guys. Um, to the guys out there who really, really, you know, you know, they want to experience it, everything, I'm gonna help you because I know what it's like to, to need, to feel like you need it, you know? And, um, yeah, I know I'm rambling because this is really, really, like, sensitive subject, you know, uh, because I've, I, I want to, I'm, I'm at the point in my life, I'm almost 24 years old, and I want to find a girl to, uh, that I can make happy, and, you know, find somebody that, you know, I want to settle down with, you know, I don't want to, I don't use these methods anymore because I don't want to, you know, catch an STD, and every girl that I've banged, I, I never really wanted to have a kid with them, you know, and you gotta look at it that way, like, how many people are banged, okay, that many, alright, I'm not gonna go into how many, that's too personal, but, uh, you know, I never, I never, I never really wanted to be a father in case they did get pregnant of that child from that mother, you know, so, be careful, protection is not 100% and all that, um, but anyway, here's the steps on how to do it. A lot of guys, I'm going to tell you, the key to success in this is confidence. Now, if you're anything like I was, and I still am in a way, sometimes, lack of confidence, it's hard to master. You master it, you can talk to any girl, you're probably getting any girl's pants. Um, now, you've got to confront the girl. Step one is confidence, step two is eye contact, step, step three is smile, um, and make a good first impression like a job interview you know you gotta go up to a girl like you're having a job interview dress to impress you understand so um for me what i would do is um let me use the mall you can you can use this technique to go in the mall bar uh see someone on the street outside your house uh, and you know at the food market anywhere anywhere in the world you can use this technique and it could have it'll have it there's a chance for it to be the same results so I'm gonna use the mall as an example a lot of girls like to go to the mall you know um, and you know you're trying to go to the mall and get your black ops 4 because you know oh my god I'm a gamer and there's GameStop in the mall well see I don't know how your malls are, but if, if there's GameStop in my mall, what, what I do is, you know, I mean, there's people that, like, there's a lot of girls that sit around the, we have, like, a waterfall wishing well thing, where people throw coins and stuff, and girls like to sit there and stuff like that, and, like, text, and, you know, Instagram or whatever, and whatever. So, you go, you walk up to a girl, right, 
And the first thing you want to say, you want to stop them. You want to put your like your hand near their at their chest area, like aim at their chest area. Um, not touch them, obviously, but like at their her saying, excuse me. You know, if she has the earphones, she'll take it out or whatever. She's very attractive. Got to confront them like they already have a boyfriend or whatever. Okay. Um. Make sure you know y you say excuse me. Sorry, um, you know, two things, you know, s compliment something, say one, I like your hair, or, you know, I like, the, I like, if they look like this, they have brand new shoes, I'll be like, oh, I like your shoes, you know, and, uh, this, and I'll say, number two is, like, you know anywhere to get in the mall, for example, if we're in the mall, you know, you know anywhere around here, like, that's, you know, good to eat, like, any good food or whatever, and then they'll, you know, they might respond like, oh, yeah, 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 or they'll ask, what do you like, you know? I'll be like, well, I want something quick, but, like, not McDonald's, you know, start talking about that. And, uh, that's how you strike the conversation, just talking to them. They don't even, they haven't even hinted that you're flirting with them. You just made one compliment, you know? Um, make sure your, make sure your hands aren't in your pockets or in your pants jerking off or you know, whatever like that, you know, any creepy business, make sure you're just talking to her, looking her in the eye, and just having a little grin, not like a weird-ass smile, <clears throat> excuse me, not like a weird-ass smile, but like, make sure you're looking, and make sure you're writing this down as I'm telling you this, um, so confidence, okay, you go up to her, you say, you know, hi, excuse me, uh, two things, I, I like your shoes, and you have anywhere else, you know, anywhere to eat around here, you know, blah, 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 you talked about that, you know, she'll, she'll respond, whatever, um, if she's the standoffish, you want to end the quick, the conversation quickish, um, like, pretty quick, because she's not interested, and she's probably uncomfortable, but chances are, that never, ever happened to me, I don't think that's ever happened to me, but, um, so, the only way you're going to get laid is if you get that number on the first impression. Um, so, it's a, it's a process, so, okay, so she's talking to you, she's, you know, you know, whatever, and then you're like, hey, thanks, um, you know, what, and then you say, what's your name, you know, you get to know her name, okay, let's say her name is, I'm just thinking of a random one, first thing that's on my mind is Ashley, you're like, oh, that's cool, Ashley, you know, or she says something like Destiny or something like that, you know, you say, like, wow, that's, that's a really, unique name, a cool name, you know, not many people I know that are named that, I don't even know if I know it, you know, whatever like that, and then you say my name is Steve, or, like, because that's my real name, I don't say virus, obviously, but you talk to her, just like you're talking to her, you know, and then you say, hey, you want to hang out sometime, now, 90% of the time, if they do have a boyfriend, they're going to say, sorry, I have a boyfriend, and I like to joke around, instead of making it awkward, I'd be like, yeah, you can bring him too. We can all hang out. You know? So that way they're like, <clears throat> oh, okay, you know, blah, 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 whatever. But, um, so, that's that. So, that being that, you know, you don't, uh, you know, if, if, you know, if she says no, like, you don't want to hang out or whatever, you turn her off somehow, and she's just not interested, uh, move on to the next one, you know, there's so many girls, you know, um, and you're not really getting rejected, you know, you're just asking, you know, because if she's talking to you that long, she, she's liking the conversation, check her body language, check her, you know, her eyes, you know, if you're looking her in the eyes and you're talking to her, just like a civil person, you know, you're not, you're not, and you're not hinting that you just want to get her naked, she's, she's gonna, she's gonna like you, you know, um, and then when she says, yeah, I guess, because that's, they usually say that a lot, like, I think the most responsive that I've ever seen was, yeah, I guess so, okay, she doesn't want to sound like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, let's, let's do it, you know, she's not gonna get, you're not gonna get that reaction, but when she says, yeah, I guess so, that means a lot, so you can say, all right, well, um, I'm just gonna get your number, don't ask for her number, say, I'm gonna get your number, and we'll see if we can make it happen, 
And then, you know, if that does, if, if she's like, I don't know if I give up a number, and I said, and then you, you reapproach it. Because, in my opinion, that's the girl testing you. See if you're going to back away, or you're nervous around her. That's when you say, well, how about you just give me a number, and then I shoot you one text. If you're interested, you're interested, and if you're not, you're not, you know. I would say 95% of the time, if you're at this point in the conversation, they're going to say, okay, and, they're, and then you ask, what is it, and they give it to you. You put it in your phone, okay? And then you say, where are you heading? Are you heading anywhere? You know, let's, because we're, our example's in the mall, you know, you say, are you heading anywhere? Um, and they're like, you know, uh, nah, I'm waiting for my, uh, friend to get out of Victoria's Secret or something like that. Be like, oh, okay, well, you have a great day and, uh, I'll see if I can't, I'll see if I can't text you tonight, you know, or whatever. Don't text her right away. Don't give her your number right away. When you get it, do not text her right away. Typically, I like to wait, like, let's say, if it's like 6 p.m. when you got her number, four hours. Four hours I like to wait. Around 10 or something like that, or at night and say, hey, it's Steve from the mall, you know. I'm just shooting you that text that I, that I said I was going to, you know. You know, and then say something like, "Hope you're at, hope, hope you had a great day." You know, text her at night time. Okay. If you meet her in the morning and you do this and you get her number, still text her at night time and say, I "Hope you had a great day." <clears throat> you know. Um, and so then you're in. So now that day that you got her number, you know that since you got her number, and if she texts you back, you're in. If she texts you back the first time, you're in. If she doesn't, don't ever, don't text her ever again until she texts you back. Eventually, she will text you back. Do not look like a clingy ass, basically. Don't look like a clingy ass. Um, text her when, you know, she texts you back. You know? Uh, and don't be those instant repliers, like, as soon as she texts you, text her real quick. And say, what are you doing, what are you doing? Like, try to drag them in the conversation. Keep it short. Don't write paragraphs because you don't want her feeling like you're being suspicious, you know? Um, you just want to just act like you're just chilling, you know? She's not going to friend zone you. She doesn't even know you yet, you know? Um, talk for a week, you know, uh, every uh, every other day or whatever. Say, hey, how you been? You know, blah, blah, blah. Um, now, for the first two weeks, just talk, talk by text. Then ask her to hang out. That is when you say, hey, so did you want to um, take me up on that offer and just hang out or something like that? Uh, are you busy this week or, you know? So it's, if it's been two weeks, you've been just talking to her, like, seeing how she is, you know, playing it slow. You know, you don't want to rush anything. And then she hangs out with you, right? You make her have the best time ever, dude. Don't kiss her. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Hang out with her. Bring her back to the mall again, or if she's old enough, go to the bar or something like that. You know, just have fun. You know, you know, want to go play arcade or whatever. You know, you're 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 developing a friendship. You're not being a friend zoned friendship. You're just getting a friendship for now. Um, check for all the signs if she's starting to like you and all that. You you'll be able to tell. You know. So, you hang out for another time after that, you know, and then, um, after that, you know, literally, a month down the road of just talking and flirting and texting and all that and doing all this, you know, you'll be, next thing you know, bro, you'll be ramming it up her ass, or if, if you're, if you're an anal kind of guy, or, you know, maybe, you know, right in the coochie, you know, who knows. But, uh, that's literally, like, in my opinion, the easiest way to get laid. And, honestly, it is. Because girls love confidence. Now, I should have mentioned this earlier, but way before you even get at, do any of the steps, like confidence and all that stuff, literally, right, um, literally make sure you're dressed a certain way. Don't have things too, too tight. Like, don't have your shirt too tight. Um, don't have your pants too tight. Don't have them too baggy either. 
you know, make them like ni nice, fit, snug, you know, and um, I promise your appearance, you know, smell good, look good, you know, wear some co daddy's cologne or whatever, you know, but, uh, dude, I guarantee you, if you do do this, you'll get girls' numbers, and that's the easiest way to get laid, because when you get their number, that shows them interested in you at least a little bit. They realize, oh, he's a confident guy. You don't need to have the super good looks. You could weigh 500 pounds, um, look, have pimples all over your face, or whatever, and you could still, because there's some girls out there that go for personality over looks, and don't even care. Some of the most beautiful girls don't even care. And a lot of the most beautiful girls are single, ironically, because, like, the really, really attractive ones, because everybody's too intimidated to go talk to them. If you just talk to them, you'll be fine. You know? And to get over having the fear of rejection is to get rejected. Honestly, it, it, it becomes like drinking water. It's so easy to do, you know? You're not scared anymore. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that was a good comparison. Because I never thought water, drinking water was scary. But my point to you that I'm trying to make is, you know, the more you practice it, the better you'll get. Um, but that's how I got over social anxiety. I can talk to any female if I really, really want to. Um, but I'm, I'm in it for a different kind of long haul, so to speak. I'm looking for a relationship, you know, I'm not looking for getting late, I'm looking for a relationship where, you know, I can, you know, settle down and stuff like that, and remember, nothing's 100% protective, so, like I said, you guys gotta watch it, you know, in this day and age, this isn't 50 years ago, this day and age is a lot of STDs going around, you don't want to catch them, you don't want to get a girl that you regret getting pregnant, you'll be paying child support, you'll be... My point is, just be careful, um, and you're probably wondering, well, if you don't condone the behavior of getting laid, why would I make this video? Well, you gotta understand, I'm trying to help because you gotta learn for yourself, you can't, you can't just go off, you know, you're, you're gonna do it anyway, and the least, the, the least I can do is help you so it's not as awkward and it's not as bad, you know, um, but yeah, if she does say she has a boyfriend at that point when you ask if you want to hang out, you say, okay, well, he can come too. Make a joke if you want to keep her in your life as a friend, you know? Or, maybe you just strictly want to get laid, and if she says she has a boyfriend, just find a way to get out. And she'd be like, oh, okay. you just be, my favorite line, if I don't want to be a friend, I just wanted to strictly to get laid, was... Okay, I respect that. Um, you just have a great rest of your day, and he's a lucky man. Like, that's it. That is it. You know? She's not gonna, like, laugh in your face like all those people that are afraid of ha it's afraid of happening to. You know? And the sooner you realize how silly it is to actually think that's what happens, like, you're gonna get laughed at and, you know, you know, embarrassed. No, it, it really isn't that. Everything's mental. So if you're if if you're if you're focusing too much on getting humiliated when you're talking to her, you're not going to have that confidence. Don't have your hands in your pocket, like I said. Don't have you know jerking off in your pants or whatever talking to her. Just be nice. Just talk to her like you're talking to a friend you've known forever. You know, just talk to her. I, I was I was going to say like your mom, but you don't want to do that because that's going to be creepy when you get her number. But. Alright, we're, we're wrapping this up. Um, hey, if you guys agree with anything I said, you know, please leave a comment. You know, and if it has worked for you, definitely give it a comment. It's definitely worth it. I promise you, it's definitely worth the the, the attempt. Um, you will be getting laid within a month of it working. Some girls move faster than others, though. You got to remember that. But uh, this is your boy Viruses, and. Uh, have a good one, guys. Peace out.